Okay, okay, I admit it, that zoom in was me. But come on, if I'm gonna have to fix their aspect ratios, I might as well do it in a fun way. And you know what? I think it makes it look like he's about to say something truly epic. Which, not gonna lie, is kind of true, as long as the epic you are using is an acronym for extremely pointless idiotic crap. Hello and welcome. No, 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 no. Hello and welcome to you because I have brought you into my little world to add you to my collection. You see, that's what we do around here. We find all the dumbasses and their stupid opinions, and then we freeze them forever in the comedy equivalent of Carbonite, so that hundreds of years from now, explorers will be digging through the internets of yore and discover all my videos covering cretins, and then turn and run away because their cushy future space lives will not have prepared them for this kind of weapon weaponized stupid, but if they had dug a little deeper, they would have found me behind all the videos, drinking whiskey and getting sucked off by a bear. Hey, you got a plan for retirement, kids. If you're an atheist, an agnostic, or just someone who's struggling with what to believe, then f*** you. How dare you exist in my timeline, when it's so obvious, to me, that God does the real, because I read a book that said he real, and that's good enough for me. Also, struggling with what to believe, why not just believe what you believe? Like seriously, it should not be that hard. If you are convinced of something, then just f***ing believe that. But what you shouldn't do is believe something because someone told you you should. Because that's how you get morons. This brief message will help you know the truth. The truth? Is that like truth truth? Like things that are actually, you know, true and correct, ETC? Or do you mean truth TM, where it's thing I would really, really like to be true so I convince myself and others that it is so I can feel smugly superior to other people who don't buy what I'm selling. Because I'll be honest, mate, I have more of the second one than I know what to do with. The topics I'm going to cover won't take more than 15 minutes, so please just give it a listen and then you can be on your way. i tell you what. I'll listen for a few minutes, and if you manage to make it all the way through that without saying anything extremely ignorant and or stupid, then I will stay the whole video making oohs and mm-hmm noises in agreement for the rest of it. But if the opposite happens, as clearly unlikely as that is, well, I'm just going to have to constantly take the piss out of you till I'm bored. Seem fair? Cool. The topics I'll cover include... Wow, god damn, that is a lot of topics for 15 minutes. I mean, even just reading them out is going to take like 10 years. So let's just speed that bit up a bit, yeah? Sight, sound, the development of planet Earth, this Earth in space, DNA, the spreading out of the universe, the Big Bang, the Milky Way galaxy, the speed of light with a demonstration, I might add, time and the age of the universe, also with a demonstration, and the creator. Again, that is a lot of topics for just 15 minutes. Like, way too many. Like, if you think you can remotely cover all of them in anything but a completely unsatisfying, super shallow, ultra superficial way, then you might be a bit of a dumbass. And yes, I know I was being redundant, but that's just how stupid you would have to be. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, let's. I think we already know how this is going to go. But that doesn't mean it won't be fun finding out the exact kind and level of f***ing ridiculous it's going to be. Now, you may believe in the theory of evolution, and I'm not saying that evolution didn't occur. It may have, at least to some degree, though personally I don't believe so. Wow. Just wow. That was a heck of a way to kick off this whole, well, I want to say thing, but it's more of a disaster than anything else. Damn, you don't believe it, do you? Well, fun fact, no one gives a shit what you believe did or didn't happen, especially not Mr. Evolution. Because Mr. Evolution is one of those guys who's a fact, a demonstrable fact, in fact, that happens literally constantly. And we know this because of all the evidence that supports him. Like seriously, saying you don't believe evolution happens is like saying that you don't believe humans are the worst thing ever. It's just a fact. But the main difficulty with the theory of evolution is eyesight. <laughs> God fucking damn it, why? Why do you people always get stuck on eyesight? It's like you cannot conceive of anything more difficult to understand than a light and colour sensor. Motherfucker, we've been making those for literally decades. 
and they aren't that complicated. And I'm not saying that eyes aren't kind of cool and all, but there are more complicated things in the world that have been explained to you less times and you don't seem to bring those up quite so often, do you lot? It's weird. There's no way to account for eyesight to have just naturally evolved among living creatures eons ago. What are you talking about? Yes, there is. What do you think eyesight, you know, is? Do you think it's some magic trick that there's no way it could be simpler? It's just a series of sensors. Like you said yourself, that you admit evolution could happen, which is still, you know, f*** you. But I'm sure you could understand, say, the evolution of arms and hands. Start off with simply nubs that grow larger, longer, and more useful. And then the nubs grow nubs off of them giving you ways to manipulate stuff and move around and, you know, nub things. Well, the same is true for eyes. Literally, they would start off as just cells that can detect the presence of photons. Just cells that tell a creature the sun is out. I mean, f***ing plants can do that without sight. And then you get more of them and they get really good at it and then they mutate to detect different wavelengths giving you colours and the shape of the animal changes to place them at a more useful point. And the most important part, the processing, you know that thing that understands what the data means, the brain gets more complicated at the same time till boom, you got eyes. But it's not boom because, you know, evolution. But it's really, again, not that freaking complicated. The fact that light waves exist couldn't have been known, of course, to little creatures with barely developed brains. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. No, you thick bastard. That's that's not how evolution works. Things don't know about stuff. And then I don't know, but I'm assuming you think they choose to do whatever. And that's just God, I hope not. You don't get a mutation because you know about a thing. You just get it. And maybe it turns out to be beneficial. Like, seriously, there are animals that work better during the day. So a way to sense that it is brighter somewhere would be extremely useful. But it's not doing that on purpose. Put simply, though, the sensors themselves wouldn't have started out as vision per se, but just the ability to sense light. Because it's useful and is all you need to start the whole thing off. Much less which wavelengths would be most advantageous to them. Yep, there it is. You think that evolution is some kind of decision. Christicle on a bicycle. Where do you people learn this garbage? Do you all just hear a basic explanation of what something is and then just guess how it works. There are so many books that you could read that would explain to you how that is so unbelievably stupid. Like the big book of extremely basic biology that even an idiot man-child could understand. And you haven't even read that. The sheer audacity of you people and your assumptions that you have any idea how anything works is completely staggering. Now, I've read the attempts to explain the natural evolution of eyesight, including the explanation that it began perhaps as light shone through a creature's thin spot of skin. Yeah, you've read some explanations somewhere, maybe from a scientist, maybe from someone who has a rudimentary understanding of how this shit works. And I say, so what? Have you read any educational material on how evolution works? Have you looked at any studies or evidence? Because, well, no you haven't. And I know you haven't, because you don't understand it. Because if you did, you wouldn't have said any of the shit you have so far. Now the fact is, sunlight shining onto thin skin is more apt to cause skin cancer than the development of an eyeball. I've got to stop being shocked at his misunderstanding of everything. Because damn it. Again, no, evolution doesn't happen because light exists. Evolution happens because thing useful for survival. The light detection cells didn't develop because light. They developed because randomly and were useful. In all likelihood, light detecting cells would have happened with extremely simple organisms that likely wouldn't have had what we think of when we say skin, but just a bunch of cells that are sort of clumped together to form a thing. But that's not the point and is conjecture on my part. But again, none of this is on purpose for f**k's sake. I've also read explanations that as creatures evolved way back when that they wouldn't necessarily have had wouldn't necessarily have required brains in order to know that they needed to develop eyes. 
Can you just give me a minute? I need to sit down before I have a stroke from the sheer dumb being projected from this man. You never read anywhere that any animal thought to themselves, you know what I need? Any single part of my body that I don't currently have. And if you somehow did, that person was a f***ing moron. Perhaps even more so than yourself. Although, I think that's unlikely, because who's really the greater fool? The fool or the fool that follows him after watching him jump into a pit of lava? Because hot is a lie made up by science to keep theists from enjoying a nice warm soak. It's been pointed out, for example, that there's a type of jellyfish that has a well-developed eye, though it has nothing we'd recognize as a brain. And it did not choose to do that. Also, it might not have a clump of neurons in a single specific place, but that's not the same as not having the capacity to process information and take action. A nervous system is still a thing that quote-unquote thinks and reacts ETC. But like you say, not the same way as we understand it. But even if it had none of that, a light sensor that can tell if there is light up and no light down would be useful even without the capacity to interpret that as vision. Now, what stupid, stupid, stupid reason do you have that that's bad or disproves evolution or whatever the hell you are trying to do? But to that I say thank you for making my point for me. If something without a brain has an eyeball, that just couldn't have happened through natural evolution. Literally, literally the opposite thing that you think just happened there actually happened. The fact that something without a brain, as you put it, can evolve is exactly expected by evolution. Evolution is not predicated on brains or thought or any kind of choices whatsoever. I mean, humans evolved from whatever and clearly their capacity for coherent thinking is extremely limited if they are able to produce offspring this f***ing stupid and still able to hear and read things it doesn't understand. I believe that the knowledge of the existence of light waves was essential. That's because, right, you have no idea what evolution is and are absolutely and categorically ignorant to its function and the mechanisms that cause it to happen. There is zero knowledge involved when it comes to evolution via natural selection. Zero. The way it works is completely predicated on whether or not an animal is better able to breed. That's it its capacity to pass on its genes. No animal ever said to itself, you know what would make me bang Becky better? If I understood differential calculus. Because the animal doesn't make any decision as to how it changes. It has no idea that's even happening. Only that one animal is slightly taller or faster or has slightly longer claws to grip trees better or indeed a capacity to detect light or many other forms of radiant energy. And if that means it can survive longer and bang more of its fellow whatevers, its kids are likely to have more of the same things, while its less banging brethren kids won't and there will be less of them in the long run until only critters that have those whatevers exist no choice ever made and sound waves present a similar problem no they really don't not to anyone but you anyway that's the problem when you don't understand something you will not be able to understand things related to that thing because your basic knowledge of the concept is so flawed that you'll be unable to grasp any facet of it whatsoever you know, I get a kick out of some of those Star Wars movies where something is being blown up in outer space and we hear explosive sounds. Uh, yeah, movies are often inaccurate about space stuff. But you know why that is? Because it would be boring otherwise. Like seriously, most space battles would just be silent if they were accurate to the physics of sound. But it's called suspension of disbelief. Anyway, what's your god-awful point? Because I know you have one and I know that it's going to be devastatingly stupid. There is, of course, no sound in outer space because an atmosphere is needed to carry sound waves. Well, no. Actually, a medium is required to carry sound waves. A thing that is connected to a bunch of other things, whether that be a clump of gas or a load of water or even a solid hunk of whatever. That's why you can hear banging on walls, even if it's too quiet to hear in the air, so to speak. But you put your ear against the wall... And now you do. Look, I know it doesn't really matter, but if someone is this ignorant, you really have to correct them on everything that you can. God knows what else this man just doesn't understand. Again, there's no way that our little allegedly evolving ancestors eons ago 
could have known of the existence of sound waves. It's amazing just how wrong a person can be and yet how confidently they can be it when they have never bothered to actually learn anything about the subjects they choose to broach. Like seriously, I would never dream of talking about, I don't know, the benefits of sobriety. But that's mostly because after years of doing this, I can't for the life of me think of any. But I'm not going to assume they don't exist just because I'm a drunk. Because that would make me a stupid asshole. And a drunk. And thus developed eardrums and the other parts of the inner ear necessary to transmit impulses to their little brains and then interpret those sound waves. <laughs> Fucking hell, it really is comedy gold listening to you fail your way through your complete lack of understanding of this topic, because, yeah, no. The fact that you think they just decided they needed and made ears happen, I can't even begin to imagine what you could possibly think the science says about that, or when it happened, or what mechanism caused it. It's like listening to a toddler explain how the television works, based on what they think happens. Except the toddler would sound cute. You just sound really dumb. Thus, it's easier to believe in the tooth fairy and Santa Claus than it is to believe that all the various species on Earth just happened during their alleged evolutionary period to develop eyes and ears. No, it really, really isn't. The explanations for evolution development are very clear and well documented and fairly easy to understand, if you know, actually bother to look into them and learn how it all works. Because, kind of like the Tooth Fairy and Santa, and what have you, which are explained by nonsense, the explanation that any body part just popped into existence for no reason is not f***ing true for any of them. But what do I know? Apart from a lot more than you, obviously. Knowledge of the existence of light waves was required for the development of eyesight and their understanding that an atmosphere was available on Earth to carry sound waves that was necessary for all the creatures to have developed ears. No, it wasn't. And the fact that you think it was is proof positive that you have no knowledge for how evolution works, and yet it still does, even though you don't. Isn't that just marvellous, you silly, silly, silly little man? Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six channel Spoon Star Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, Follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-